Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the basics of Brick Planet Workshop and how to make a game. So first you're going to go to Decorations. You'll be brought here. Now, you got to go to Games. And you got to go, well you don't have to go there, but you can just go here. And we'll show you games when you make them. And you go to New Game. Type whatever, type whatever. Then you create it, and you'll be brought here to your game. Now it won't be called test, it will be called something different if you put something in there. And you can see your visits, the game created. This is just a test game. So, you're going to go to edit and workshop. And that will load. Now, you'll be brought here to your game, whatever you have. I had some stuff for this game, but I don't want it anymore. So you'll probably be brought here to this. It'll be bright like this. And you can see all this. You can see on the bottom brick, base plate, um, cylinder, cone, um, spear, and spawn. We'll get into all of them. I forgot, but you have to click on the, so if you have a brick, and you have to drag it into the workshop, and that's how you get the block. So the first thing we're going to start with is the brick. Now it's just a plain brick, so I'll show you all the tools. You have this tool, you can move it, this one, you can rotate stuff and spin it. And you can do a lot, like make a ramp, so, so you can, your player can walk over, walk up. And I'll show you that in basic. So let's make a little ramp. Now, don't say it's trash. I just made it just now. I'm trying to go quick. So you'll have this. So you could. But this, you can also move bricks like that, if you want. So that's my basic ramp. I know it looks kind of trash, but it's okay. I'm trying to go fast. So, you can use that for spinning, and this is a scaling block right here. See? Scale. So, you put this out big. That's a big thing. So now we have a cylinder. Now you can make, I don't know, you can make a tower with this. Put this right here. And this could be your tower. And you also could use this for your obbies or something. So let's make it so people can jump there. You can also, so I'll get into these, but for right now I can duplicate like that. Duplicate. That's also a nice tool to use. So you could create it like this. There you go. So that's the cylinder. This is the base plate. It's just uh, what I did. But it's not much needed if you talk about a cone. So now you can you can use this to like Add this to the, if you're making a tower, add it onto that, or you just want to make it like a roof for a house. That that can be used for that. Um, here's a spear. Now you can make this a little big here, and you can make this can collide and anchored. Now make this anchored, so if you're making a soccer game, you can move it, so if the player touches it, I'll show you that, because it's pretty, it's it's neat, because you can make a soccer ball, or you want to move a block, or you want to move something, you can anchor it, you can, so you can make it not collide, so if you want to make a wall, invisible wall or something, well not like an invisible wall, but a secret door, so if you're the owner of a game and you want no one to get into there, you could make a secret thing so people wouldn't find where you're going. You could just hide. So that's probably neat. 
You're nice. And then we have spawn. This is just a spawn. Um, if you want to make any block a spawn, you can just go to a tag. So the the spear, the ball, you um you could make it a spawn, and you would spawn there, or you could spawn. It's 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 kind of randomized. So if you had more than one spawn, you could get your stuff messed up. So objects just make a scene um, scene object and spawn will just be a spawn ball. Now, now we can get into this. So this is our file. This is our save. This is just saving our place. I don't know why. <laughs> you can just publish it. But um, here's your open. I don't really know what this is for, but I think that's where you save your local like save stuff. You could just open that. Here's your publish. Just publish it. Um, you just click that. Save model. This is all your models. We'll get into that soon. And here's settings. So this is the quality and your level. Um, 90 f. Um, probably put on 99 FPS because that's probably what you want. And put on ultra. So people, if they want to put on ultra, I'm pretty sure that's what it should be used for your workshop. I think that's for your whole workshop. Now you're gonna do. You can see undo and redo. So if I put a block here and I accidentally did that, you can undo it or you could delete it. Um, if you there's a delete key on your um compute well on your computer keyboard, and you could delete it, or you could just do it here. See so that undo it and you can hit the delete. Now Control C. Control V doesn't work, so you're gonna have to go here to duplicate, and you can move that block and see there's now two. So that's a nicer way. And then you also can undo that, or you could redo. Any way if you want. And then here's play. You can test your game out. I barely use it. It's just kind of silly. We don't really need it. Also, you gotta count on the. So in the mod user model, some people have made it. So find it, player. So you can see a player's um same scale, and you could have the scale of your person here. So you could test it out, and this is how tall your person would be to what you're making. So it's also kind of helpful that people have made it, so you could do that. So I'm duplicating that. Now, let's get into the models part. So, you're going to have, so let's say you're going to make a seat or a couch. So let's make the couch. Also, don't make blocks thin. Because they'll go black and you can't mess with them if you leave your workshop. So don't do that. Because it's not very helpful. So let's just make this. I don't know. So right here you can make this model. Now make sure that something doesn't get into it. You can see there that this got interacted with that. So don't have it like that. Just keep it like this. And if you want... um. You can group it, and the group will make it a whole thing. And see, look, you can lift it up and do whatever you want. So, I can, or you could just do this. Um, you could go over it, save, and you could just put whatever. And then you can use that. So, if you do, you need to duplicate something, you can use there that. So that's very helpful for like, things like that. And then let's get into the crate. Now the crate it gets it gets a little more um, crazy. So you have here part. So here's all the bar parts. Um, the trash is so 
you know in Roblox or something, you can climb stuff? This is basically that, but you can climb it. I kind of wish you could make it invisible or something. So it's a, like, you know how I was talking about earlier, the anchor thing, or the collide thing? That's what I'm talking about. I kind of wish they had that. Um, so that's just blocks and that. Um, this wheel thing, I think it's used for cars because people make working cars and they have that in there. Um, this is a light. So if I want to put a light on here, see? And I can make it, I can make it zero. I can make it extra bright, see? It's bright. That's neat for, it's nice for games that, like, if you're making a house and you want to make, have lights or something, that's what you could do. Um, a script, you can script stuff. Um, there's a website, if you go on to, it's called this. I'll leave the link to it in the description. This has all the scripting, the lighting, the effects, the, it helps you with a lot of stuff, but most of it's scripting and some workshop things, but, um, you have to read, I think, everything there, because you can go here, do that, so, it'll tell you some things, and I'll tell you what to do, so that's that, and then we have, um, we have local script, I don't really know what local script is for, but it's just another script thing. Um, so we have particles. Now particles you can use so f like if you want to swim thing, you can see the speed. And you can barely see it because that's how fast it is. If you have it a hundred, <laughs> that's that, and then that. I like this one. This one's nice. So that's just effects. You can mess with the colors and a lot more stuff. You can get interested into that sound. Um, I thought it was maybe like you putting a. I'm guessing they're gonna add that soon. Like you can add a fact sound, but that's not right now. And then we have model. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. I've never messed with that, but oh well, it's silly. No one needs it really. Um, a tool, so when you're making an item tool thing, you're going to have to make that, um, because you're going to have your, I could show you with a sword someone else would me. So there's this blue sword right here, and someone has put in here the sword spawner, and here's the sword. You see, this is a mesh, so you put that over it, I'm pretty sure, and then you put it. You put all the blocks, the script, and then you make it a tool, because you can see there's a tool thing. And if you go to here and you put a tool, you'll see that. So I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. I'm not really messed with that. I don't really care for tools that much. I care for them, but it's okay. Um, um, a mesh. So a mesh is where you go to any store, anything go here and you can see this brick planets um, snapback and you can use this copy the little thing right here you see right there you pro oh, well it doesn't work like that but um, you could see it and then we put it right here and it should be there it might be there I don't know oh well well, it's supposed to, sh so, if I had, I don't know why the sword's not showing, but those are mess, mess swords. I'll have to show you that soon. So, they're just mesh. Um, you could import a something, like an object or a hat in it. Um, remote data. Um, I think, pretty sure that's, like, they use that for cars so you can remote it. Or for guns. A mouse detector, so if you want something that when you hover over it, it will it will just have a little mouse thing. So if I have this block right here and I put my finger over it, it will show up like that, like that right there, and it will be like that. 
and then you go to there's also vehicle suite and text 3d so text 3d is um is the 3d text i think this is really cool so you could have it so you probably want to make it 20 or something for your game don't make it that big or 30 however you want it you could put welcome you can make this so if i'm moving my camera or i'm in or i'm in game and i move somewhere you can see it because i'm moving if i look at it um do that if you want or do you just want it to be like that i've not really done it follow camera but i've recently knew about it so it's neat. so keep um that's the 3d text and vehicle seat is so if i have this seat here and if i want to sit here i can so i'll show that in game one we get there and then here's the testing again so that's really much um if you search up something if you say one two three or something i'm gonna look up true um maybe something with so if you have if you look up something it might if um the second page of it will be something random it'll be this um that's just brick planet issue so you can upload these and and also when you create a model i didn't do much detail into the model thing but you see this model here i can make it public and then i save it oh <laughs> well if you save it it'll save the model and then you also could rename it and if you don't want it public so if you want if you're telling your friend hey I'll, i'm gonna release the model for your game or you're gonna help someone you could do that so i'm gonna let's test out the game let's publish it um if you get an x there's too many blocks in it and that's and that's basically brick planets issue they don't have it fully like made for that You know your boy's gonna play to survive the disaster, okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm loaded in the game. You like my vampire outfit? Also, if, there's no way of turning off sound. Sorry. Um, this is what I normally hear when I'm not have my audio on. I know it's very bleeding ears. Um. So yeah. So when I hover my mouse over this, the block, it will show up like that. And if I hover on over here, it will show up. But when I put it close to this, it will work. This is the jump. Also, if you press, um, I'm pretty sure it's R. There you go. See? You die. Your arm just goes on. I kind of think it's broken recently. But, yeah. Here's the seat. That's what I was saying about. Um, and here's the ball. See, I can move it. See, it's moving. Let's move it right there. See, that's a ball. That's pretty much what a cylinder will. That's what a um, thing is used for most. And here's the ramp. So if you want um, a mountain or something, you can have that. I don't know why I have that. Yeah. Also, swear words are um, they're okay. They don't really. If you put another letter next to it, it doesn't work out well. <laughs> they need work out a little bit better on their sensor thing, but it's okay. So that's Br um, Brick Planet developing the basics. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any scripting videos because I don't barely know what scripting, what to do. So, yeah. Also, if you press F2, you get this. You get no things here. Here's a toolbox, and here's your hide chat. Here's your settings. And this is for developers only. You get to see if there's any script issues. That's the 
And when you pick out something from here, you can drag them to here and you can equip them from pressing 1. So yeah, that's it. And goodbye. Goodbye.